Good evening. The quick actions of a family friend are being credited tonight with the rescue of a seven-year-old boy from the clutches of a cougar while camping in central Alberta. CTV's Allison McKinnon sat down with the woman who says she just didn't hesitate to help. Having survived a cougar attack, Case Fuser is back home in Sylvan Lake. The seven-year-old underwent three hours of surgery and has more than 200 staples, surgical clamps, and stitches in his head, neck, and chest. He had to get the draining tube taken out of his neck, and now we're just recovering at home until we have to go back to get the staples taken out. It could have been a different story had it not been for the quick thinking of family friend Alicia Morrison. She was watching Kaysen play with a group of children by their campsite near Buster Creek. This is where I was sitting, and the the attack happened right here in front of me. All six kids were right here. And Kaysen was just right behind this bush right there. She says one of the kids saw something large and screamed. I jumped out of the chair and I came in just behind the cougar and I saw it on him. It had his um, head in its mouth and it was like a split second. I just grabbed a rock and just hit the cougar in the head somehow and didn't hit Kaysen, thank God and it dropped him. Kaysen's mom says the boy didn't know what grabbed him. Remember the big white paw, hey? It was the big white paw. He thought it was the dog, actually, because the cougar was so quiet and so stealthy, he didn't really know what hit him, and he just saw this big white paw, and he thought it was Jersey. Morrison is a registered nurse and was able to put pressure on Kaysen's wounds as they waited for an ambulance. Honestly, I believe she's the one that saved his life. Morrison says while her training may have helped, instinct drove her to move. One, I needed to get the cougar off of him. Two, I needed to stop the bleeding. And that was, and three, I needed to call 911. And those three things just happened. Like, I didn't think about them. The women are now warning campers to try to be as prepared as possible. Having to go cavewoman style with a rock was just what happened. Both families say it will take time to move past this experience. Devastatingly grateful right now. It uh, was really unfortunate what happened, but it, you know, it turned out so much better than the shoulda, coulda, wouldas that are running through our minds. Allison McKinnon, CTV News, Sylvan Lake.